our joints have a smooth coating that covers the end called cartilage. Now, sometimes there can be a defect of that cartilage, which can lead to pain and swelling. And you could think of it almost like a divot or a pothole that leaves the bone exposed underneath, which can then lead to this pain and swelling. Now, for young people, joint replacement surgery is not an ideal option. However, there are surgical techniques where we can replace or resurface some of this damaged cartilage. And in this video, I'll discuss and go over one such example where we take donated cartilage from a donor and implant it into a person's knee. Hi, I'm Dr. Ed McLean, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon here in New York. I specialize in sports medicine and arthroscopic surgery. This is an arthroscopic image. This is an image that we took during an arthroscopic procedure of someone's knee where I make two little small holes. And here you can see the white smooth coating, that's the cartilage coating. And then there you can see this large defect and that has the exposed sort of tan or brown color bone exposed underneath. So we very often will first perform an arthroscopic procedure, either where we will find this defect or if we know about it and are doing surgical planning for a second stage procedure to do the transplant. Now in this image, we have opened the knee with a surgical incision, and I am pointing to that circular area which has the defect of cartilage. Then we will use instruments such as this to size the defect, and then we will go to the donated material using the same instrument to match it up in order to find the exact right size and location for the donor material. Here in this picture, you could see on the left the donated knee joint, and you could see the small component, the plug donor that we're going to end up taking and put into the patient. And then here, this is the final outlook where we have now transplanted that cartilage into this patient. There are other techniques that surgeons can use to resurface the cartilage, but many of those require much longer rehabilitation and staying off the knee for longer periods of time. And with the transplantation that I showed here in this video, very often people can get back to their lives quicker. Now, after surgery, the protocol in terms of how we manage the patient may vary from surgeon to surgeon, but in general, we'll start range of motion exercises right away to help a patient regain their range of motion. Very often, they'll use crutches for about six weeks, but many of them are able to return to their activities and sport by six months. So how well do these procedures work in terms of providing the patient with pain relief and giving longevity to the joint so we can get many years before it really breaks down into arthritis. So there was an analysis of 19 studies that looked at a total of 644 knees, and they found that the overall satisfaction rate was about 86%, and 65% of the patients showed little to no arthritis at final follow-up. There was another study of 122 patients that underwent this transplantation of this cartilage and bone, and they looked at survivorship, meaning how long did this last for them. And they found that at 10 years, 82% of these grafts had survived and the patients didn't need knee replacement. Let's wrap up this video and go over a few key points. Number one, cartilage defects in the knee are very common. And number two, osteochondral transplantation where we take cartilage and bone from a donor and transplant it is one viable option that can help many patients. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in my next video or in my office.